What's up guys, Jimmy from Mountain Bike Travel Review here and welcome back to Beginner Mountain Bike Sessions with Brian. On this episode, we're gonna focus on how to ride skinnies. We have some pretty unique skinnies where we're riding today, so we're gonna teach Brian the basic skills he needs to get better and better at skinnies and have a blast riding them no matter where he is. I need to be out here with these bugs, I need my latte. That butt back. You ready? Yeah. Sure. All, right. All right, guys. Now, before we even jump into looking at a real skinny, the first step is going to be to simply try to ride your bike down a line. It can be a line on the road. It can be a line like I've drawn here in the dirt. And what we're going to focus on is literally just riding straight down that line and trying to keep both tires on that line. This takes the risk out of initially riding a skinny. So we'll have Brian practice on this a few times. And you can do this as many times as you need until you feel efficient riding down a straight line. Beep. All right, Brian, let's give a shot riding this beautiful line that I made for you. Nice. Now, as Brian's rolling over this line, we go over our first tip when it comes to skinnies. Now, the first thing you'll see as Brian rolls over this line is that he's going to keep his eyes up. You want to look where you want to go, not where your front tire is. So he's keeping his eyes up, he's looking down the line in front of him, further down, maybe 15, 20 feet out, and that's gonna help him maintain his balance. Another tip when riding skinnies, you can see Brian's seated. Now this is gonna be a matter of preference. Normally when you're learning, it's a little easier to actually stay seated and just focus on centering your balance and riding the line. That being said, as you get better, you're gonna wanna be able to use a little more momentum and stand while you're riding the skinny. It's a lot easier to ride a skinny with a little momentum and without pedaling. So if he stands, just lets the bike do the work, looks up, focus ahead, very nice. So you can do this as many times as you want. Again, there's no risk here. Just practice on a straight line. Try to keep both tires in the line. You ready to try a real skinny? Yes, please. Here we have a nice skinny for Brian to learn on. This is a relatively straight skinny. As you can see, it's only maybe six inches off the ground here, and it has a nice run up to it. So it's a very smooth, run up to get on the skinny and off the skinny. We don't want anything that he has to push too hard on or that's too high, it's gonna to be too risky. So we're gonna have Brian give this a couple tries. The biggest thing here and what you'll notice is because they're a lip, he's gonna to have to stand to get on the skinny so he can't sit and just ride over it. Hence why you wanna practice standing when you're riding that practice line in the beginning. We're gonna have Brian give this a whirl. He's gonna focus on having his eyes up, looking ahead, Very nice. Nice, man. So Brian already has a pretty good balance point, but if you're learning like Brian is and you don't have a strong balance point, one of the things you can practice is just doing stoppies. Just practice riding a little bit, coming to a stop, and then just stand there and balance as long as you can. This is teaching you to use your weight, your knees, to balance your bike back and forth and stay in that balance point, which will ultimately make skinnies, skinnies a lot easier. Brian has nice momentum. Nice. That brings us to our next point. One of the most important things as you start to advance your skinnies is to be able to bail. So if you haven't watched the wheelie video, make sure you check that out. You either want a wheelie bail or you can drop depending on how much momentum you have. So if Brian's going slow and he can't do a manual or a drop off, what he's gonna do is as soon as he doesn't feel his balance very nice, he's gonna wheelie off. Very simple wheelie to ensure that he drops his back tire first. You don't want your front wheel to flop over and you to flip over the handlebars because that's not going to be a fun experience. A little more momentum, he shouldn't need to wheelie. He should be able to just pop that front wheel and manual right off. So if you're not good at manuals or drops yet, go ahead and check out the manual and drop video listed above to get a little better at those. <laughs> Now another key when you're riding skinnies, especially when you're beginning, like many things, you can see Brian is in flat pedals. Brian does not have his feet clipped in. Because he is relatively new, riding in flat pedals is gonna give him more confidence and allow him to bail off the bike if need be. Hey, it's Corky Heaven. We have friends. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. All right guys, so a couple more tips for riding skinnies. One is gonna be your seat height. I prefer to have my seat height right in the middle. You don't want it too low and you don't want it all the way up. The reason being, when I'm riding over a skinny, normally I'm standing, but if I need to balance, I can actually use my seat between my legs to hold the bike in place. And if I need to sit, I can still sit. So keep your seat at mid-height 
That way it's easier, you can use your seat if need be, but it's also not in the way. The last tip for riding a skinny, much like anything else in a mountain bike, is to make sure that you have both your brakes in hand. So you want to be able to feather your brakes, if your front tire starts riding off the skinny, you can always stop quickly, keep your balance, start going again. Now another thing to learn when you're riding skinnies is how to pivot. So as you can see here, there's a nice turn in front of me. What I'm going to do is learn <laughs> how to pivot that back in and swing around the corner. <laughs> If you haven't watched the bunny hop video, you can check that out. But literally all you're doing, I'm putting pressure on my bars, standing up, tilting my weight forward while squeezing my brake lever, which allows me to balance on that front wheel, swing whichever way I need to for a skinny. Again, next level stuff, focus on the beginner, stick to a skinny that's safe, that you can manage like this, and then just build your way up. The biggest key, like anything else, practice, practice, practice. All right guys, so as you get better and better at skinnies, one of the cool things you'll find in the woods from time to time is a teeter-totter. Seesaw. It's a teeter-totter. Seesaw! Ah! All right, so like I was saying, sometimes you'll find a seesaw, which is a really cool feature like when you were a kid at a playground. <laughs> Literally all it is is you start on one end, which is normally flat. As you ride up, you're actually gonna get to the middle, transfer your weight over the front, it's gonna teeter down, and then you ride down the other side. Focus on keeping your eyes up, keep it nice and slow. Once you feel that change, you can let off your brakes and just roll down the other side. So let's have Brian give it a try. Seesaw! Teeter totter! Seesaw! Teeter totter! Nice! I'm just gonna do this one more time and you'll see once he gets to the middle, he's gonna slow down a little bit, get to that balance point. Balance is gonna shift, roll down the other side. Very nice, man. So again, another level of progression. As you get better at skinnies, you can find cooler and cooler features like this. Let's go see what else we can find out there. Brian's gonna try the big skinny. It's got a little run up here, uphill, and then it has a little drop off before you get onto this part, which is the easy part. So Brian's gonna keep some momentum. He's gonna focus on keeping his eyes up and looking at the top of this ramp, not at the beginning. Ow! <laughs> Brian crushed his man parts. <laughs> Though not so hot the first time, he was in too low of a gear, not enough momentum, and he had his head down. So he wants to give it another shot. There he goes. Nice, Brian. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Hell yeah. Nice work, brother. You get a pound for that one. Send me that video, bro. That was awesome. Very impressive. Had his eyes up, crashed the first time, didn't let it bring him down, conquered the roller. Oh God. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. The backwards. <gasps> oh, good job, Yemi. You show up. Yeah. Yeah, Brian. Did you see that? Dude, you crushed it. I did it. Nice work, man. Squish like I'm the only one that rides in skinny. Oh. It's not easy. Life isn't easy. <laughs> You owe me five bucks, dude. All right, guys, so that wraps it up on our video on how to ride skinnies. Again, it's a pretty basic skill and most of it comes down to practice, but focus on keeping your eyes up, starting on that flat line and slowly building your way up on harder and harder skinnies and you will get better. No matter where you go, you're always gonna find skinnies. They're not necessary, but they're fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment and like the video if you are a fan and make sure you tune in to all the other episodes on Beginner Sessions 
with Ryan. Yeah, you got it. It's like a regular kind of, it just rolls. <laughs> that didn't come out great, so let's try that one more time. Skinny, fat, skinny, dark, dark, fat. Dark faces. <laughs> we have some pretty unique skinnies here where we are, so we're going to teach the trip. So we're going to... <laughs>